Dr. Romano. Happy Thanksgiving. Good. How are you? Oh, Dr. Romano, I need some help with the diazonium salt. Is that what are you working on well, yeah, there? Look, I have a diazonium salt on the board that I'm going to do with my Facebook um, students. It's an absolute masterpiece. Is and it needed? Do I need to know that for the DAT you exam? You certainly do. And um, I wrote many, many different reactions, so this is going to get that 30. I love overkill. I hear a lot of people use the word overkill. you damn right. I'm all about overkill. So why don't we look on the blackboard and do some overkill right now on my video. I want to get a 30, Dr. Romano. Well, many of my students do get a 30. And overkill is our favorite word. So let's take a look. This O in the benzene's ring stands for overkill. If we look at the reaction, this is a massive sequence. In step number one, we're going to nitrate the benzene ring to give A. So hopefully everybody is on the same page on that one. From A to B, we're simply going to reduce down the nitro group into the amino group. I use hydrogen and platinum, or I use lithium aluminum hydride to do the job. You can also use tin or iron with acid like I do sometimes in the destroyer. So there's three main ways to do that. Now, this next procedure, I get so many emails that I'm almost sorry that I even put it in the destroyer book. If you look at this reaction, it says bromine and FEPR3. This group is so reactive. I don't even need the FEPR3. I can do it with plain old water. You might say to me, my teacher told me different. Well, your teacher told you wrong. This reactive group that you see here is so reactive that it's going to direct the bromines not only to the ortho or the para position, but all the positions. So the NH2 group is going to go ortho, ortho, and para with or without the catalyst. Once we now brominated our aniline, we come in for NaNO2 and HCO really cold. That makes what's called the diazonium salt. Notice it says below 5 degrees, because this group is very unstable, and we have to work cold. Once I've created the diazonium salt, I'm going to hit it with CUCN. What you're going to do is think of the diazonium salt as one big leaving group, and almost as if you were doing an SN2 type of reaction, where we're going to replace the N2, and we're going to bring in the nucleophile. And as you can see, all I've done was replace the diazo group with the CN cyano group in letter A. Now, here's where it gets interesting. From E to F, what the hell is this? This is called the hydrolysis of a nitrile. I've taken the CN group and I made it into a carboxy acid group. A sure bet to see that even as a standalone in the data exam. Here's one that is really hard. If you go from E to G and you treat it with a Grignard, so you take a nitrile with a Grignard, as you can see, the nitrogen leaves, and we make it into a ketone. So without going into the mechanism, you can almost imagine the nitrogen becomes the double bond O, and the R group from the Grignard gets put on. And that's the way you would make letter G, which is a tribromoacetophenone type of a compound. All right, I hope this helps. Um, massive chemistry on this. Of all my videotapes, this might be the best one because there are so many possible questions that Dad can ask on this, but if you can put it all together, the, the question on the Dad maybe would be two or three steps. Where here I took you through several steps. You put it all together, you're good to go for a possible 30, just like my students here in New York. All right, I hope this clears up or reinforces. If it doesn't, Friend me on Facebook, join our study group, and be part of the community, and ask away. Okay, Dr. Romano, I have some questions, but I'll be up there later asking my questions on the study group. Okay, I will see you later. Good day to you. Thank you, Dr. Romano. Bye. Good day to you, sir. Hope I see you soon. Bye.